Don't look, little kitty. Another giant asteroid is rushing towards our solar system. I hope it changes its path. Yeah, asteroid, go to moon. Oh no, little kitty. Getting our moon exploded due to natural or artificial reasons can be equally devastating for the people on Earth. Well, let me explain. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us help Kitty to clear her doubts by answering an explosive question. What if the moon exploded? Zoom in! The great glorious moon we already learned about its formation in our previous video. Please have a look at that video to gain more knowledge about our natural satellite. I know what you are thinking. Is it really possible for the moon to explode? Well, no matter how absurd the scenario might come across, you'll be shocked to know that as noticed with other moons in our solar system, they do sometimes explode. Yes, this can happen in two ways. Either they can be struck by something big like an asteroid or a minor planet or ripped apart by gravitational disturbances. Apart from these possibilities, even humans could play a part in its explosion in case we managed to build a nuclear missile 600 billion times more powerful than the giant nuke ever built. Fortunately, it is implausible that our moon will explode any time soon. But for the sake of this video, let us assume what would happen if a giant cosmic body collides with our moon and it explodes. Well, if the moon explodes, it will break into many different pieces. But what would happen next will depend upon the size of the explosion. Yes, a weak explosion with larger pieces of debris might create new moons around the Earth. As a result, instead of one large moon, we might have several smaller moons revolving around us. The remaining debris might make a set of rings around our planet just like Saturn. But it won't be a pleasant sight for us as these orbiting rocks could often cause meteor showers on Earth. But on the other hand, if it's a massive explosion, then things might start to heat up pretty quickly, even for Earth. Yes, in that case, the moon debris will scatter around the solar system. Some will move away from Earth into infinite space, while some will shoot towards our planet due to its gravitational force. And the closer they get, the faster they'll become and come crashing into our atmosphere. Fortunately, most of the tiny debris will burn into ashes before hitting the ground and larger pieces of rock would be travelling at a much slower speed that won't cause much damage. But these infinite showers of heated stones into our atmosphere will result in a rise in the Earth's temperature to the point that it will burn up everything. Not only that, without the stabilizing tidal drag from a single moon, the Earth's axial tilt will wobble far more than it does now. And over the next thousands of years, Earth could bend all the way past 45 degrees, so that most of one hemisphere faces the sun continuously, while the other is in constant darkness. And to know how life would be on Earth without a moon, I request you to check out our video, What if the moon disappears? Trivia time! Did you know there are more than 200 moons in our solar system? Yes, 
they revolve around most major planets except Mercury and Venus, which have no moons. Hope you learned something vital today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>